Before I started writing about beavers, I thought I was pretty well informed about Canada's national animal. I had all the basics down, the flat tails and black teeth, the tree cutting and the dam building. I also knew that beavers were almost wiped out by the colonial fur trade, but had dodged the extinction bullet. What I didn't understand was how incredibly influential and important beavers are as habitat makers and landscape shapers and water stewards. I also didn't realize how darn cute they are. Really, who can resist a critter that looks like this? And the book is full of lots more great photos of these engaging characters. I was a nature loving kid who loved reading about wildlife, as well as going out and looking for animals, making casts of their tracks, that kind of thing. But there weren't a lot of beavers around when I was growing up, and I didn't see my first one until in the wild until I was in my teens. So when I was writing this book, I wasn't just thinking about the nature loving kids of today who might already be familiar with beavers. I was also thinking about kids who live in places where they may never have had a chance to see a beaver dam, let alone a live beaver, and haven't given beavers much thought. And because I know that beavers and humans don't always see eye to eye, I was also thinking about kids who have been taught that beavers are pests and should just be eliminated. For all of these readers, my goal in writing this book was to deepen their understanding of beavers. I wanted to give them a bunch of cool beaver facts that they could share at the dinner table. Like, did you know that the world's longest beaver dam is as long as 30 basketball courts laid end to end? But beyond cool facts, I wanted to give readers the big picture in terms of beaver history and ecology and conservation. And to make all that accessible, I brought people into the book wherever I could, particularly by shining the spotlight on beaver researchers and on young people with various kinds of beaver connections. My favorite part of working on this book was interviewing those young people, and I really appreciated their willingness to share their stories. These radical rodents already have a big fan club. I hope my book will add to the ranks of enthusiastic young beaver backers.